Hey Sag, welcome to your weekly reading for April 5th to the 11th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. Uh, we're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So let's see where we go for you Sagittarius. Sagittarius. We have freedom and transformation. I love that. Bottom of the deck energy is empowerment. Woo. The fire signs are uh, leveling up this week. You guys are the last fire sign for me to do. So I've done Aries and Leo. And both of them was like stepping into their power. And I feel like yours is also the same thing. There's a lot of transformation energy around you guys. I think you guys are feeling really good. Um, like fire signs in general, just feeling really good about the being in, in this Aries energy. Um, so I feel like there's big changes. I feel like I've been getting this for everybody, um, even through all the April reads, like there's big transformation coming in for people. Um, people are changing a lot of things in their life. Um, I feel like you guys are setting yourself free, but you're also setting yourself, um, or, um, becoming more into your own power as well with the empowerment here. You guys are like doing things for you. So let's see. What's going on for Sagittarius this week? Lots of good energy. So we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups in the recent past. Current, we have Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Near future, we have Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Moon. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely focused on money. I see you guys, um, there's definitely change coming in. This is your energy here, Saj. Could be dealing with cancer or an earth sign. There's a lot of earth energy here. Do you see your finances like increasing? I, I feel like you guys could be getting some recognition, receiving some sort of, sort of like a reward almost. Um, some of you, it's like a promotion. So let's see. So there is an Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like you guys are focused on new, something new. The Six of Cups is behind that, but I feel like you guys are kind of moving on from the past. You're kind of stepping out of this past energy, moving towards something new. Um, like I said, some of you are really focused on like finances. Recent past, we have the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I see that you guys possibly walked away from something that you were holding on to in the past. Um, I think it, you really tried to hold on to it to the very end, but it, you realized with the Seven of Swords, like it wasn't serving you. You're almost deceiving yourself because you were holding on to it and not wanting to walk away. But in the end, I think you kind of realized like, you know what, I need to kind of move in a new path. I need to kind of walk my, walk my new path, walk this new journey. Um, and I think you almost like, again, set yourself free. There's definitely some sort of change here where I see you guys like leveling up. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is really good for money. This is recognition, reward, giving and receiving, right? So it's reciprocal energy with the Wheel of Fortune. This can receive, you know, be luck, abundance, change, right? Financially, good fortune. So I feel like some of you could be receiving like some sort of like a raise or a promotion or somebody's helping you out when it comes to money, which like maybe changes your situation. I feel like there's some sort of change with the help that you're getting of people around you. And I feel like it's reciprocated. Now, some of you, you're helping other people. And so that's what's, you know, it's like good karma, right? You're receiving good karma for the help that you've given other people. Um, near future, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Moon. You're, you're working on something. You're looking at the details of something. You're, I feel like you're kind of looking deep within with the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon together. But you're kind of debating on something. Some of you are trying to balance out your, like, emotions with your practical life, you know? Like, you're trying to create some more stability in that sense. So let's kind of see where we go for you guys. I wanna kinda see what you're walking away from here. What is this Eight of Cups? What's Sag walking away from in the past? The Queen of Wands and the Fool. 
page of cups. I feel like it could have been someone who was maybe a little bit immature. Somebody could have, could have been like younger than you. I just feel like you guys are stepping into your power. By walking away, that's essentially, it's like, it almost doesn't even matter what you're walking away from because you're just, you're stepping into your power. What's the wheel here? King of cups, uh, knight of cups. Tell me more about the wheel. Tell me more about the wheel. Some of you, there's somebody who wants to work with you. They want to offer you something. Anything more with this wheel? Death and the four of cups. What's this four of cups? So some of you are rejecting some, I feel like you guys got options. You guys may have a few people coming towards you. I feel like you could be ending something with, with a, one person. It's like that situation's over, you're done with that. And there may be somebody new coming in here. I feel like the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups are the same person. Clarify the King of Cups, Knight of Cups. This is King and the Knight of Cups. So we have the Sun and the King of Pentacles. So this person's pretty stable. I feel like they make you pretty happy. I feel like they come in with a legitimate offer. Like I don't really feel like there's anything. I feel like this past person had a really hard time. You're done with people who don't offer you love. Like you're done with people who are kind of cold, people who don't offer you what you want, people who <clears throat> don't make you happy. Again, some of you may have a lot of options here when it comes to people or opportunities even. These people could become could come bearing opportunities. This could be like some the sun here, the the king and the knight of pentacles could be offering you an opportunity that increases your financial situation like again luck right like there's something that almost like you're being given here that um yeah is gonna grow is gonna expand so whether that is love some of you it's just something that's gonna set you free financially there could be some sort of an offer that comes in from somebody that's gonna level you up financially or bring you more money I feel like it's almost like it's going to set you free. It's going to transform your situation, especially if you are unhappy in your job. What is this moon energy in the near future for Sag? What is this moon energy? We have the tower. Tell me more about the moon and the tower. Page of Cups. Someone may want to come in and offer you something that maybe you have to make a decision on. Tell me more about this page of cups. The hanged man. So someone maybe received some sort of enlightenment. Enlightenment. This could be a past person. Yeah, they maybe want to balance things out. I think it's taken them a little while uh, with the hanged man and temperance to kind of come around. They've really had to go within Somebody wants to offer you something here. Uh, some of you, they want to express their emotions. It's going to kind of come out of nowhere. I feel like you're pretty focused on your money. What's the two of pentacles or just work and, or other projects? Seven of wands. So you're kind of resistant to this. You're maybe not sure. You don't want to disrupt your own energy. Tell me more about this. Nine of swords, four of swords. Yeah, you've done a lot of healing work when it comes to you know, your kind of your mindset and how you feel about situations and the conflict that you're kind of not really wanting to necessarily get into this situation. I think that's why you're resisting it because you're trying to preserve your energy. Um, even though this person is kind of almost like confessing. What does this person want to say? What is this offer here with this page of cups? What is this? What is this offer? Ten of swords. Page of Pentacles. So this person wants to offer a new beginning. They regret. They have regrets with the Five of Cups. They have regrets with how it ended. I feel like you're busy working on yourself, setting yourself free. Yeah, there's like toxicity here. You guys are trying to set yourself free of burden. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to move on. 
What is the advice for Saj? It's almost like this person's trying to tempt you back in as well, which is interesting. Uh, what advice do we have? Oops. Okay. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. I feel like you guys are kind of needing to clear your mind for sure for some of you. Um, also for some of you like cut out the drama cut out the um, some of you there could be gossip I feel like you guys just need to stay out of this drama and focus on your passions and what makes you feel good with the four of wands page of wands like follow your path don't get caught up in the drama right move away from that kind of stuff with the six of swords there um, I feel like you guys are setting yourself free of a pro probably a situation that was a little bit Dramatic, especially if there's a person that you ended things with that maybe never offered you love. I feel like this person was a little bit cold towards you. I feel like they could be coming back around. And I feel like there's a financial opportunity here for you guys that's going to set you free in that aspect. So there's changes in love, but also I feel like in your financial situation. So good to see when we can have both of those come up. Um, so I kind of feel like the love thing is like a little underlying. The focus for this week is more so that something that's going to grow it may be even be a person for some of you a new person but whatever they have to offer you is legit is kind of what i feel so that is what i have for you Saj. hopefully that's helpful for you guys let me know down below if it resonated for you um later today when i'm posting this will be the rest of the april reads will be out so probably for most of you by the time you watch this uh they will be out so definitely check those out and i hope you guys have a wonderful week bye